everybody, it's the Dame of All Trades. Remember me? Of course you do! Do you remember what I used to do? So, if you've watched any of my videos, and if you're one of the many commenters on in any of my most recent videos, you may have been saying, hey, where are your thrift hauls? And I just keep making excuses, and I still go thrifting, and I don't know why I don't share them. I'm just a big old jerk. But I'm really excited today because guess what? I have a thrift haul. I'm so excited. Got off of work, put on some makeup, put on a hat, and I was like, you know what? They deserve a thrift haul. So here we go. Today, Labor Day sale at Thrift Giant, and I went to the Northwest Highway location in East Dallas. So if you're ever interested, go follow them on social media. Follow them on Facebook. And you know what? If you're like me, you need to be following them and having text alerts because sometimes they have 50% off sales that are just on a random day and they'll be like from 5 to 9 tonight 50% off everything is that not amazing I think it is if you follow my Instagram you know that there is this one female Sam who I photograph um all the time she's pre pretty much my muse and we work really well together so I have been trying to get her to go thrifting with me and finally yesterday we made plans and made it happen we went thrifting and we both had extremely good luck. I got 15 pieces, I believe it was 15 if I can count, for $31 and some change and that includes tax. So I think I did pretty good because it's always scary. I try not to do the math before I get to the register but I look at everything and it was a pretty big pile of clothes and I was like oh crap. Guess I will be eating ramen until the end of the month because I only get paid once a month and it's just the beginning of the month. What I do get to do is show you guys a bunch of cool stuff and we're just going to dive in because who cares about what I have to say. Show us the clothes. I did get to pick up two belts and these were a dollar each so just one in cream and then we have one in brown. Uh, I don't have a cream belt. I don't even have a white belt and my brown belt that I have is super old and honestly about to fall apart and it's just not the most professional look. So two belts. The next thing I'm going to show you are dresses. Who doesn't love a dress? It's just one piece of clothing and it's one outfit and it's also kind of professional. You know, anytime you put on a dress, people are like, what you got a dress on? Job interview? Date? Trying to make someone jealous? Trying to make someone like you? You know, there's so many reasons why you would wear a dress. Um, and mine is usually because my clothes are all dirty and this is what's left. Picked up this really cool black dress and this is from some brand I have no idea. I think it reaches, let's see, let's stand up. Yep, you can't see. It's about mid thigh. And my favorite part are these lace bell sleeves. These are really cool and pretty awesome to wear during my favorite season, fall. And we're actually getting a cold front, so our highs will be in the 80s now. Yep, that's us getting a cold front in Texas, 80s. Now this is a little bit more professional and what I like about it is it's also a little conforming to the body, which I never wear, but because of this ruching, right? That's what they call it. Ruching effect on the waist. It hides my fupa. Elegant for a date or you can wear it to work or if you're like me you just put on a pair of cowboy boots and rock it with one of my many bandanas. That's how I plan on wearing this and maybe soon too. Now this is something I'm really excited about because oh, I guess I've been so kind of depressed about shopping and doing thrift hauls and stuff because you know when you get older you become a woman and you gain weight and honestly I wasn't really comfortable with gaining the weight and it's just like whatever now. So now instead of looking for the normal sizes, I just kind of guess and put it to my hips and just hope that when I get home they do fit. I did get to find this. It's pleather. Everybody relax, okay. This pleather, it's a knee length. I wouldn't necessarily call it a pencil skirt because it's not so tight, but honestly this is a freaking amazing i really like this it fits really great um my favorite part is that it is form-fitting but it's not too tight so if i have you know an extra pizza or cheesecake for dessert or something like that then i won't be having to unzip the back what you're seeing here is just a yellow tank and i noticed that a lot of the clothes that i buy are from ann taylor loft so i don't know i think it's because i'm a woman is that the first sign that your woman is picking out clothes from Ann Taylor Loft. 
Well, I like this shirt. It has a little bit of stains here, but I think I can get that out when I wash it. But what I like about it is that it's a really beautiful yellow, and this will go great with a pair of denim. Uh, blue jean denim, I know, right? I'm like growing up. It's not just black denim in my life. I still, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing some right now, but you know what I mean. I had to switch it up once. It has this really cool, I guess they kind of look like, they're not triangles, arrows. They're some kind of pointy looking thing. And they're in this like nice brown type color. So it's not too harsh because I really don't like yellow and black. So another thing with an awesome pattern, and when I saw this, I was like, yes, because one, it's professional. Two, it screams, we're going to happy hour after we get out of work. So get ready, girl. Get that work done, because today we celebrate. And the way I celebrate is through this super awesome polka dotted shirt, and it has different sizes of polka dots and consistencies of polka dots, I guess you could say. And then it is all cut up nicely with this beautiful orange. So it's like black and white, yes, you know, my staple colors. And then you can just, just a, just a little spray of orange on there to add pizzazz. And then the back also has a little keyhole and this is from the brand Lola. And I can't remember who they're like more expensive brand. It's like their junior. It's a BCBG. It might be BCBG. You can look it up. But I have a fur coat, fur coat from them that I love and wear every once in a while because it's a half sleeve fur coat. So I don't really know when the appropriate time to wear that is. But I know that the appropriate time to wear this is anytime I want to have a good time and look good at the same time. So if you watch my thrift haul, then you know that I am a sucker for button-up shirts, button-up shirt, throw them on, go to work, and they're just so easy to style and they look a little bit more professional than a band shirt. So this one, what I like about it at first, I was like, ooh, I like these stripes. Kind of reminds me of pajamas. So if I wear this to work, I'll feel like I'm still wearing pajamas. But then you turn it around and on the bottom, oh, look at the little butt. The butt reminds me of like those tuxedos. So, you know, like a pianist 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 piano player they flip it up and then they they do the piano playing so that's like me and then I do the editing yep so I like that shirt I'm gonna wear it as a very comfortable shirt to work and again the chambray color the light blue with the denim I don't know what it is I'm just a cowboy so sometimes I got to give black and white you know give it a break and just wear head-to-toe denim and chambray just embrace it more button-ups but this one without a collar so this is is this plaid it's not gingham right so we'll call it plaid i wear black and white plaid all the time this is actually more of a cream color so this is great again professional and also i don't know kind of lazy i like it to be more comfortable at work because then again i can eat more food and hide it within the loose fabric and again fall is coming up winter is coming up you know, winter is coming. Win winter has come. It's technically not here, but if you watch Game of Thrones, I think technically winter has come. I don't, I don't know if we're still waiting for it, but it, it appears to have arrived. This shirt will be great, and I already know that I can't wait to wear this with, guess what, a bandana. If you look at my Instagram, if you see me in real life, I pretty much wear a bandana five out of seven days of the week. And yes, I even wear bandanas to work now because no one has told me that they're inappropriate. I think they're pretty nice and they're just like, it's like my style. I at least keep the hats to minimum at work, probably because I sometimes have to put headphones on my head and just doesn't, the shape it just doesn't work. And so this is just a really nice uh, long sleeveless button up and it almost looks... You know, I should learn my patterns, but what is this? Like almost checkered. It's almost a plaid. I don't really know what to call this, but what I can call it is awesome. What I like about these is I like to wear these long shirts because it's just a little, I tuck in my shirts all the time. So if it's too long, I obviously, I obviously can't tuck this in. So what I like to do is I button it halfway and then I kind of just put my hands in my pockets when I stand around, maybe like bust the hip so you look cool and I'm usually wearing boots so that's a look guys so if you ever just want to look cool just like get your long shirts don't button them all the way put your hand in your pocket then pop that hip it works promise guaranteed to work all the time 100% at Thrift Giant during their sales they close the dressing room so it's just like look in the mirror does it look like it fits try it on all over your clothes whatever you got to do take a chance you know sometimes things don't fit me and automatically I can't wear them but guess what I can wear everything here so ha <laughs> ha sorry about you 
So somebody gave this away. So while I was like trying everything on, I just see this little fuzzy thing hiding behind some other clothes that were unwanted. And it's this, look at this, this beautiful gray fluffy sweater. This would go great in anyone's lives and especially mine because I love everything fluffy. And since I wear black all the time, this is just a no brainer. What I see myself wearing this with is of course button ups and I have a lot of different color button ups and maybe even a polka dot button up so you can kind of mix patterns and textures and all that stuff. All right, so this shirt Troy did not like. Troy was like, that looks like a man's shirt. But what it reminds me of is a potato sack. So I don't not, I don't think that's better, but that's just what it reminds me of. And it's this, I don't know, it's this really long sleeve button up type thing. So the way I plan to wear this is with either high-waisted, like um, bodycon skirt, you know, with ruching. And um, a bralette could be kind of cool if it's like a Saturday night or, you know, maybe if it's like to dinner or lunch, a crop top is just fine. So something, crop top, and then just put this over. You could either button it or keep it open and it just gives that really chic potato sack look. Honestly, I don't really care what Troy thinks because obviously my fashion's way cooler than his. I don't know, I just, I'm just drawn to this stuff. This like texture, this really rough, itchy texture. I don't know, we'll see. But I like it and then of course you can just throw a hat on it. Just throw a hat on it. Shirts for going out and looking a little bit nice. Plaid and also work shirts. So I saw this. It's sheer. Of course everything I own is sheer or black or white. Um, or plaid I guess you could call this. And it has the black sleeves and it's just this really nice rich blue color. And again, I could wear this with blue jeans, black jeans, a black skirt. Any that remember that pleather skirt i put i tried them on together looked great looks super great so add this to collection of work party chill shirts oh, okay so this shirt is definitely no surprise that i got because if you watch my previous thrift hauls you know one of my favorite things is buying things that have like a black base with a floral print on top so of course i saw this and it's from morona so is what is that target right target if not, it's JCPenney, but I'm pretty sure it's Target. You know, I should know these things. I don't, but I should. So this is a really beautiful black shirt, and it has this really nice, they're like little roses and everything on here, and this is going to go great for fall. And it's professional, of course. Another thing to check on the list. Oh, no, guys. So this is the last one. This is it. Last but not least, this beautiful, I really like this shirt. I saw it, and I just love the color. Bam! This beautiful red shirt and it has um, like two layers and on the top layer is almost like a jersey, I guess you could call it like a basketball jersey. You know how it has, you know how it has holes. Uh, this has like, they look like little gems. So it's like squares and then a diamond looking shape. But I like that it adds texture. It makes the shirt more interesting than just a plain basic red top. So. With that being said, another thrift haul. And I'm so happy that you watched. This is probably way too long because I still don't know how to keep the chatting to a limit. But um, send me some encouragement. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Give me some style inspirations. Tell me what I should do next. Whatever you got to do. And you know, as usual, I will see you in the future. Thank you for watching. Follow me at the Dame of All Trades on Facebook and Instagram. Bye, y'all.